it is the next day and I went ahead and painted my sign so it is drying. So while that is drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on working on my stencil. I just have to figure out what exactly I want it to say. So once I go ahead and build that in um, Fonto, I'll just upload it to Design Space, edit, and I'll go ahead and cut it out on the Cricut. you guys how it looks it is just the word gather and it is definitely not perfect but I think for my first time it's not too bad so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I want to paint this black but before I get started on painting I do want to go ahead and um, nail down my sides for my frame or for my picture so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first and then I'll be right back.
I am finally finished attaching the trim and I wanna show you guys how it looks. So I did not wanna go with just a traditional, just picture frame. I wanted the trim to kind of pop out. So I really like how this looks. And next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and polycrylic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow I will get started on putting everything on the frame. Hey guys so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and paint gather and I am gonna use the color ink in the chalk paint so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on painting dry and now it is finally time to go ahead and put my sign together so I went ahead and I placed gather where I think I want it to go so next up I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it and then from there I will go ahead and figure out where exactly I want to place my vine together so now it is time to show you guys the reveal of how everything looks so I'm just gonna pick it up and show it to you guys and it just says come in and gather at our table and of course I use my scroll saw for the word gather because I wanted to have a 3d effect and I wanted it to pop off of my sign um, and then as far as the rest of it I just used my Cricut just to cut out the vinyl and I think it came out really good and I feel like it's going to look really good in my dining room area so I cannot wait to get it up on the wall. And then as far as the scroll saw goes, I wanted to give you guys a quick little review on it. I really do like it and it is definitely a learning curve. I still have a lot of learning left to do but it wasn't too bad for my first try I think. And then also I wanted to let you guys know just what I learned from it is definitely if you're going to be um, using your squirrel saw, just make sure you just have one hand on your wood as a guide and then the other hand just to stabilize the wood. So that's a little tip. And then also I wanted to let you guys know that I did just use the blade that came with it. I did a little bit of research and I saw some people said that I think you need like a number five blade or it's best to use a number five blade um, for thicker wood. So I just used the blade that came with it. I don't know if it's a number five blade or not, but just wanted to let you guys know that. And then I will definitely be sure to link everything that I use down below. So make sure you guys check out the description box. But that is it guys, comment down below and let me know how did I do and if you guys really like this sign. Oh, and then also I wanted to let you guys know the stain that I used, um, it was the same stain for my dining room table. So I forgot the name of it, but I'll make sure that I'll link that down below. I'll go out and check. But that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!